Hello everyone, welcome back to Form of Therapy. This is The Culture Study and I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD and today we are watching Talk and Talk by Fromis9. This is a special single release from Fromis9 and it's a very special single timing wise as well because this is coming off the heels of the announcement that Fromis9 has officially been switched under to Pletus Entertainment for their management. Uh, their previous label, Off the Record, uh, I think might just be dissolved. Uh, they said it was like a restructuring in the company, but I believe Off the Record um, at the time uh, was only managing ISA 1 and Fromis 9. So they it's not like they had a lot of things going on in terms of like handling a bunch of artists. But uh, with the restructuring, Fromis 9 is now officially under Plenus management. Uh, hope that goes well. Uh, but that also very notably puts them under Hybe as well. And so this music video is uh, being released under the Hybe Labels YouTube channel. So that is interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to see uh, how this is going to influence uh, Fromis 9's career going forward. Uh, I know that Pledis Entertainment has been somewhat involved with Fromis 9's music very early on, just not the management aspect. But now with the management aspect, I mean, Pledis doesn't necessarily have a great track record with handling girl groups, but I'm hoping that with the extra added resources from uh, Hybe, you know, uh, this is only going to be a good thing for Fromis 9's future going forward. Uh, now, before we get into the video, uh, before we check out this song, uh, guys, if you enjoy our channel, if you enjoy what we do, and you would like to support our future endeavors, please consider visiting our Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash formatherapy for as little as something like $2 a month, you get access to listening parties. Uh, listening parties are now Patreon exclusives. Uh, this is just a single release, so uh, I don't think there's going to be a listening party for this. There might be like a B-side we check out if there is a B-side, kind of like airplane mode, which is phenomenal one of their best songs um but uh you know for just a little bit more we also check out k dramas we do reactions for reality and survival shows so if you want to check all that out consider visiting our patreon of course you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to just simply like this video subscribe and it would help us out tremendously let's get into this video now this is talk and talk by fromus nine and this is your form of therapy Oh, are they going off the same concept? Oh no, okay. Who is this? Is it Chion? Oh no, it's cutie. Oh. I think Chion's had silver slash gray hair at one point. I thought it was her from the side profile. That is loud. Oh my god, Nagyong looks so adorable. Is this the hook? Oh, I like it. Voice sounds fantastic. Is that... I'm sorry. I, I always love when Tedom sings. What? Is this the chorus? Why is this throwing me off? Okay. I like it, but why did that? I gotta listen to the transition again. Why did that transition throw me off so much? Okay. 
Wow. Okay, so this is the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus is fucking fantastic. I don't know. I feel like lately I've been finding myself very drawn towards pre-choruses more than more so than the choruses lately. Oh wow. I like the music video concept, it's very cute. Ooh, that is catchy, okay. Oh. I'll take all the set I'm singing. Thank you. Oh. Lover apartments. I just, just processed. Okay, all right. I love it immediately. Um, there, there were some moments where one moment specifically, uh, specifically that chorus when it starts, it throws me off. I think because initially they reveal the the chorus hook at the beginning of the song because they reveal it at the beginning of the song when. Uh, when they're obviously building towards the chorus transition, I was immediately expecting, I think subconsciously, I was immediately expecting the do 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 but they went somewhere else with that. They It kind of threw me off, and I wasn't quite sure on the first chorus if I liked that. And then I listened to it the second time, and it's fantastic. Um, it, honestly, it, it does... <sighs> It feels a little bit like they're just continuing the pre-chorus, like they're prolonging the pre-chorus, like they're singing, because like in the pre-chorus, they kind of bring it down and then they sing it with a little bit more emotion, uh, a little bit more kamjong, and I like that. I like that a lot. But then when the chorus drops, you have like this upbeat, very 8-bit tune in the background, but then they still continue that very kind of like toned down singing because most uh girl group stuff especially like the pop sound is very like high singing so it kind of threw me off that they would do the chorus uh in that kind of lower register but ultimately it grew on me and i feel like it does harken back a little bit to fromus nine's older style their earlier style i'll admit i'm a little um sentimental about their earlier work um just because um, I believe the um, their older music was produced by the same producers that did G Friends old stuff. I, I forget their names, um, but uh, their songs like Two Hearts or Glass Shoes, DKDK. I don't think all of those were produced by the same team, but um, they all caught my attention initially because they all had this kind of like emotion behind it. The way they were singing, the melody. Um, in uh, the melody in their voices had like this emotional note and their music has kind of turned away from that after Love Bomb so starting from like around fun Love Bomb I mean let's not even get into Love Bomb we all remember what happened in that video um, I cried um, but you know songs like Fun We Go um, have been more on the lighter poppier side but the thing is i've still enjoyed all of them because the earnest singing is still there uh, especially in their two singers i'm sorry i'm not familiar with everybody's names um but their main two singers especially the the one with, that had the shortcut orange hair um in the pre-chorus and um 
one of the other singers with longer hair or two of the singers with longer hair. They tend to sing higher, but there's always like a lot of emotion behind their voices. And that's why I've still always really liked Fromis Nine's music. I know some people were not a fan of Fun when it initially came out. They were like, what is this? And I'm like, okay, it's a shakeup, but it's still there. Fromis Nine is still there. Um, and so whoever was managing like the group's sound, I, I think still did a decent job of them like maintaining that like Fromis Nine sound, like bringing those vocals to life. But Talk and Talk, I think, really, really takes it back. I think that chorus, where the the the, the top line in that chorus, the na 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 na, I think it takes it back early on in their career. I feel like it's a mashup of having a top line from something like Glass Shoes, um, their more sentimental pieces like DKDK, and then combining it with like the cutesy pop stuff that they started introducing with fun. And so Talk and Talk, I'm right now, I want to give it a 9 out of 10. I am tempted to give it a 10 out of 10. Like, I, I love it. Like, right now, just listening to it, I love it. But I also... Can't tell right now, just off one listen, if I love it because it's Thromas 9 or if I love it because I think it's genuinely that fantastic. It beats out songs from their previous releases. But I'm just trying to think about it right now, but I don't know. Like, if someone was like, hey, what do you want to listen to? Fun or Talk and Talk? I don't know. My mind wants to go like fun, but that's because I already know the song, right? There's already a familiarity there. I can sing along. Um, it's got a catchy hook, but Talk and Talk, I've only heard it once. So I want to watch it again. I want to do a second watch through, and then we'll kind of do stop commentary uh, for this watch through. Yeah? Oh, the ringtone sound is the... It's from this song. Du, 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 du. I do like that they connected this music video with the we go music video obviously it's not like a huge deal it's not some universe plotting uh thread thing but I, I i just think it's nice like there's references and stuff like that wow the set design here is actually fantastic now that i look at it so much purple with the white and the silver hair also i'm a really big fan of like just this music video it's a very simple setup but at the same time, it's cute, it's interesting, it's unique. I, I, I don't know if I've seen this before. I'm sure like it's not a crazy original idea, but at the same time, I can't name you a music video that's done this before, but I like it. Uh, it does have like a kind of like a murder mystery house kind of vibe or like Scooby-Doo, especially like at the end when the lights go out and then they're all like frantically searching. Obviously, this isn't like mystery themed at all, but... Um, just this setup of like the wide view apartments. Uh, it's, 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 I like it. I'm trying to think of a movie that did this and I can't remember what it was called, but it was, that was a murder mystery movie. Not gonna look so good, this comeback. God, her voice sounds so good. Her voice also sounds so good. Wow. I really appreciate the Serum singing here. I mean, it's not like Serum doesn't sing, but, you know, Serum, they sometimes give Serum like the cutesy talk rapping lines. So I'm, I'm glad we can get a little bit of a change up. Ooh, okay, sorry. I'm not super familiar with all the Fromis 9 members. Um, for me, it's always been more so about the music. I think Fromis 9's music is incredible. I think they have some of the most mind-blowing B-sides for me, personally. Um, seriously, 21st Century Girl, Airplane Mode, dude, dude. Like, their B-sides are out of this world. Uh, but when it comes to their members, I'm only familiar with some of them. Like, uh, we got Tedom right here. Uh, my favorite, uh, you got Nagyong, um, Cutie. Uh, I know one of them is Cheong. I think Cheong might be the one who is like in the bright green, but I think that's about it. Uh, I 
I always recognize some of their faces, most of their faces, especially like the girl with like uh, the sleepy eyes. I, I think people call her like Sleeping Beauty. I don't know if I'm mixing that up with another idol, but there's like uh, one of those girls. But this girl, she really catches my eye. Um, her look is very interesting um, with like the short cut, the bright orange. Listen, I don't want to like insult any idols, but orange is a really hard color hair color to pull off. Uh, I'm not always a fan of idols who do orange hair, but she looks fantastic with it. Um, but she's been catching my eye, but also because she is getting the lines that I am enjoying the most. These, this part right here. Yeah, so this is the chorus, and if you listen to the melody here compared to the pre-chorus, Yeah, so like both of them are like on the lower end of the song. And then if you go to the do 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 do, it's higher, like like right here. See how high they sing compared to the chorus? Usually most pop songs, once you get to the chorus, they start off high, you know? And sometimes songs do reset the momentum and then they cl like climb up and rebuild the momentum in the chorus. They do do that. But here, like in the instrumental, if we, if we go back, they didn't reset the momentum, at least not in the main instrumental, not in the main skeleton of the song. You still get the drop. You still get the drop, but only in the instrumental and not in the vocals. It's, it's very weird, but I like it. It gives the song, I feel like, a very sweet feeling. It feels very sweet and refreshing. You know, it, 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 feels, it feels new. Not that the cute concept is new. Obviously, that's been done to death, but the execution of it is what's really like surprising me her she's the one with the sleepy eyes she has like really pretty eyes wow it's such a bright and colorful video too but they have so many different colors going on you know, like, from just, like, a set design perspective, this is actually kind of like a nightmare or a challenge, I suppose. Um, there's so many different color palettes going on, usually with music videos or just, like, film in general. You want to stick with, like, three color palettes uh, to keep it easy. They've got, like, the whole spectrum of the rainbow here. Like, it's insane. And yet, the music video doesn't hurt your eyes. It's not jarring. I mean, they do keep to, like, the three color scheme in each room. If you notice, in each room, they stick to those color palettes. But when you get to the wide shot, it still doesn't look weird. Even though they all, like, conflict with each other. Oh, I will say, this is probably, like, my one little critique of the music video. Is... What's up with the blank white void set? Like... Come on, like, 2021, I think we can kind of, I don't know, like, why are we still doing this? You know, I, I get that it's a special single, but I think the rest of this music video is actually super fantastic. Like, I think it's so well made. I think it's so cute. Um, so it does feel like just like a random oversight that like just one part of the music video, they're dancing, which I don't think they ever change throughout the video too. Like, I think it's, yeah, so... It is definitely a smaller budget. And I do get it's a single, so it's probably not comeback promotions and like full scale comeback promotions. And like, they're not gonna put as much money into this music video because, uh, you know, if people don't know, you know, artists don't make money making music videos. Neither do the companies. Like, the views do, like, the money they make from views, no, no matter how many millions of views they get, unless you pull like Blackpink numbers, you're never going to recoup the costs of making a music video like this. And so, like, a music video is all just, a, like, a giant advertisement for, hey, buy the album, which is where their sales come from, or the streams. And so, I understand just, like, not wanting to put too much into this financially, but just the blank white void feels a little uninspired. I, 
I, I do understand if you're on a bit of a budget, but given that it was such a colorful music video, I'm just thinking, well, why not just like, uh, instead of an in infinite white void, why not just like an infinite, like different color? You know, like make it a solid color or a gradient or something like something along those lines. Uh, I feel like given that they're wearing like red and orange, like put a color in the background that's complementary to the warmer colors here. I feel like that would be a, a, a nicer go to. Uh, it does because the white also kind of washes out. If you look at Chion and Cutie, kind of washes out their hair a little bit. So uh, I do think that it, it would have been like for me personally, I think I would have uh, pushed even if it's like exceeding the budget or pushing the budget a little bit, I would have pushed for having like a solid color background. <laughs> She reminds me of someone, the one in the purple. She's very pretty, but she reminds me of somebody. Aside from like the wonderful pre-choruses, I think actually my favorite part, like one of my favorite parts of the song has to be these uh, these portions right here, the high notes. Um, that she does that I really like that it's it, it's like such a this is already a, such a bright poppy song it's very colorful so like it's a song that's very alive and so like when everything is bright how do you make something stand out right how do you make something seem brighter and yet her voice or the the girls who do these lines that and then there's another one right here Doana. so when they say man, man, or no na, no na, even though the song's already so bright, her vocals break through even just that instrumental and make it sound even brighter. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love this song. Oh my god. It's so bright and it fills me with so much emotion. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Talk and Talk by From Us Nine. Second listen through, I can definitely give you the 10 out of 10 score. This song is fantastic. It fills me with so much emotion. Like, this song is fantastic. And. Mind you, I really like We Go. I really like Fun. You have no idea how much I just yell out, Fun! Na -na 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 -na, just like randomly in my life, and it annoys the shit out of my partner. But something about Talk and Talk is it hits differently. It hits differently. And it hits me in a way that From Us Nine titles have not hit me in a long time. From its nine B-sides are a different story. From its nine B-sides, regardless of what kind of al an album it is, find ways to hit you really, really hard. Um, like, p if people have not heard Airplane Mode from the previous single, please listen to Airplane Mode. It is, it is godly how good that song is. It's, I have literally, I'm about to go on a weird Airplane Mode brand instead of talking about Talk and Talk, but literally, like, I was hanging out with, like, a bunch of my friends and... Um, I I was just like playing music on the TV. So then I was like, oh, I should show them airplane mode. So I just put on airplane mode. I was like, you guys got to listen to this. Like, you guys are going to love this chorus. And they're just like listening. They're like, oh, yeah. Okay, it sounds nice. Literally, the reaction is the same. I've shown airplane mode to like, I think, eight people now. In, and I always make sure to show it in person. I always play it like on the TV. But like, I show it to them. And they're like, ah. and then when the chorus hits in airplane, everyone goes, Oh, like it's that kind of a song. So if you haven't heard it, I highly encourage you to check out Airplane Mode. Uh, but Talk and Talk by From Us Nine. It's fantastic. I love it. 
it's bright, but there is that little added special sauce that gives it that Frommenstein flavor um, that I think has largely been missing in their title tracks, which I definitely have missed it, but at the same time, it's always been there. It's just stronger in this song because the top line also helps carry that. Like, because their singers are so fantastic, they've always carried that emotional component in their voices. But now that the actual, like, melody, like, complements that as well, it's even better. Um, I hope that this just means, like, going forward, one, uh, we're going to get another From a Stein EP soon, please, or give me... I mean, at this point, like, I don't know how many years it's been, but give me a studio album at this point. Um, I am waiting for a Fromis 9 album. I am waiting for more Fromis 9 B-sides. But um, uh, I hope that this means only good things for, for Fromis 9's future. Like, Fromis 9 has been around for several years now, maybe like three or four. But it really feels like their career is just like now getting started. It's like just kicking off. And I'm really excited to see where they go. Uh, in the future but uh, uh, I, I don't know about like management and stuff like that I hope Pledis treats them well um, I don't know if they're gonna like have a tight connection to Hybe or if they're just gonna be treated more like a subsidiary but regardless um, I do hope that this just means that we're gonna be getting more fantastic music from them going forward uh, guys so that's my reaction and review to Talk and Talk by From Stein let me know what did you guys think about this song do you guys carry the same feelings about this song uh that i mentioned like like how does this compare to their past few releases their pop releases i'd like to know uh guys thank you for checking out this video uh once again if you enjoy our videos if you want to support the channel uh please consider visiting our patreon we got bonus reactions over there we got listening parties drama reactions survival show reactions all sorts of stuff so if you want to check that out consider visiting our patreon of course you don't have to support us monetarily uh please at least consider just liking the video it's a simple easy way to tell people hey we liked this video we want to help promote this video and yeah, I, I would really appreciate it. Uh, consider subscribing. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video. Check out our other videos over here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.